Hi bitches, my name is Fertilizer. This video has been in the making for like over a month now. But before I explain the purpose of this new video, I just want to shamelessly plug my new merch. <laughs> Woo -woo! Uh, uh, uh. You guys love the first launch and good old Dave from Crowdmate decided it was time to make more designs. He said, Frederick, get off your lazy ass. Stop procrastinating like the senior you are. You don't have senioritis. Shut up. Said those exact words. I'm not kidding. And he said, make some better designs for your fans. And I tried. In fact, one of you guys sent this sketchbook in so I could actually, you know, work on it. So, like, that's me, you know, drawing a lot. But I know some people couldn't afford the shipping and tax and the prices of the shirts in general, which is understandable. So I decided to make a pin for you guys. There are more coming, but this is one that I wanted to do for now. It's so cute, and it says everything is less than three in the card. And for those of you who still don't know what that means, it's a heart, okay? I'm promoting love on this channel. Parents, I swear to you, I'm a good influence. By the way, they didn't make an infinite amount of pins, so they do sell out at some point. They don't know when they're gonna make another batch to send out, so if you want them, get them while they last. But we also have a Bidget hoodie now. It does come in multiple colors, and it has a little heart in the inside, and I think it's really cute, and it's embroidered, and this is really soft. If you want this stuff, go check it out. Right here, uh, up here, or down there. Okay, okay, back to the video, Frederick. <coughs> I've always been intrigued by bullet journaling. Um, ever since I was little, I always thought, these people are so fucking extra. I'm a good influence, promise. I thought it was a waste of time, honestly. But as I aged and, you know, became more gay and more extra with myself and tried my best to become an art ho, <laughs> I wanted to become one of those bullet journalists because I had FOMO. I never had a diary or decided to write in a journal on a daily basis because one, I'm very lazy. I can't even keep up with my agenda at school. There were times where I actually threw my agenda away or just returned it back to them because I knew I would never use it. But I've convinced myself that if I can organize a journal for a month straight, it will organize my life and my way of living and my room. And let's just say that didn't fucking work at all. But I did manage to complete the journal for almost a month and you'll see why in a bit. This is what it looks like. I will link the original journal on Amazon. I did paint this myself and you'll see how I painted it. It does say everything is less than three. Wouldn't this be cute for merch? Except no one fucking makes bullet journal merch. <laughs> But I'm pretty happy with how it turned out for, you know, the month that I did. It does improve every page, and I do mess up a lot, so you'll get to see that. Just a heads up, the cover took seven fucking hours, and it was the most stressful painting I've ever done. Granted, most of the stuff I did look off of, like, Instagram and YouTube. I'll put the links in the description below if you want to check them out. Not a lot of it is original, but keep in mind, it's a process to get your own style. And my style is sunflowers, clearly. <laughs> so... Here's my experience of trying to bullet journal for one whole month. I first started by outlining my design in pencil, and then my dumbass realized pencil does not show up on a fake leather notebook. Frederick, you're going to NYU, what are you thinking? So then I decided to use a pen instead, which turned out to be washable, so I'm very glad for that. But you'll see eventually that the pen was the bane of my existence. As a gay Chinese American, 17 years strong, going to NYU, yes, I'm gonna say that multiple times in this video because one, I'm proud of myself, and two, I have very dumb moments during this month, it's very embarrassing. And mind you, if you see this, please don't <laughs> take away my acceptance. But I felt personally victimized by this fucking pen. And you'll, you'll see, you'll see. Once the outline was done, I wanted to do the green first, but in retrospect, you always do the lightest colors first. I repeat, do not be a dumbass like me. Please paint the darkest colors first. You'll regret it for your life. Oh my god. This video is literally me telling NYU you should not have accepted me because I don't know the basics of painting. Anyways, the paints I used weren't really that pigmented, so I decided to let the leaves dry before doing another layer after. Next, I painted the brown center of the flower, which, oh my god, do you see how sheer that paint is? The brown required like four layers total, and yes, I'm using the same brown from my shoe painting video. I'm a hoarder, I'm cheap, I'm Asian, what did you expect from me? Next up, I got to the yellow petals, and oh my god. Fucking God. Yeah, it's washable, which is very helpful in the beginning because I did mess up a lot and I'm very perfectionist, so I wanted it to be perfect 
for an outline. You remember the pen I mentioned earlier? And do some easy math here, okay? If something is washable, you're going to mix yellow paint with a blue-black ink pen. It, it just created this disgusting vomit green color. I hated it. And the only reason I didn't notice that it was blending in earlier was because I used the dark color. So of course it's not going to show because you're blending it with a dark color. It wasn't visible to my eyes. So like, 2020 vision my ass. Also, I debated for like two minutes straight if I should just erase the pen and just freehand the yellow because it wouldn't show up that much on the journal anyways. It's a yellow fucking journal. But my brain at like 12 a.m. thought, yeah, it's a good idea to keep going and just layer the paint on Frederick. Nope, I'll just say it right now. It was a terrible idea. I'm sorry because this shit took seven hours. Painting this took two separate days and three periods of physically hitting a pillow because I was so stressed and on the verge of ripping the journal in half and <sighs> I actually decided to count the amount of layers I used and it totaled to um 18 layers could have been three months if I just raised the pen but <laughs> once that was done I decided to not record this part because I thought it would take five minutes max but I used a different pen to do the writing part it was a calligraphy pen not only is it blue black but it was not washable this time and I think I messed up like one letter at the very end and my perfectionist said okay erase it try to make it perfect for the outline so I tried to erase it with a wet paper towel because it worked earlier nope that shit stained the whole journal I had to think of a different solution so I ended up painting over it and making a cloud that is next the flowers because for some reason I thought clouds and flowers are a good combination. I don't give me a break. It was midnight, okay? I, my brain doesn't think clearly. I, it's not realistic. I'm sorry. Outline and pencil, then pen, then put some finishing touches to the flowers, and we were done, right? Now keep in mind, I did spray this with like three coats of a sealant. By the way, don't paint on the spine of the journal. It it chips off. My tip would be to bend it a couple of times to see where the line is and just don't paint on that line. Don't worry, this part gets less bright, but I basically made a cover journal, and to gain inspiration, I looked up March Bullet Journal. But I added daffodils to it because those are the flowers from March, and then painted it with watercolor, which I really regret because the paint crinkled and it bled, and just use brush pens. And yes, I did just mess up by writing Monday when March 1st is technically Friday. Now that the preparation for the journal was done, I decided to start organizing my life, so you're about to see some vlogs of me every single day just showing you my steps that I did. And you can see like each time you flip, I did change style every time because I'm trying to figure out which one I like best. And that's part of the process of making a journal. Like you're not supposed to know instantly what your style is. My handwriting was, you know, amateur at best before going into it. Now it's a little bit better because I practice. Anyways, let the vlogs begin. All right, so today is March 2nd, and yesterday I did fill out my bullet journal at school. I didn't get a chance to film that, obviously. But if we take a look about what's in here, first I'm going to get my pen out from my trusty yellow pencil case. And first I need to cross out March 1st, because we are done with that. So I think I want to cross it out like this. Let me go to the second page. And I tried different ways of doing calligraphy, and I think I've settled on one. This is just the rough draft. It'll look better on this side. But these are all of the things I had to do. And I need to cross this out. I did edit my video at the end of the day. Um, I wrote the same thing twice, so that's a good start. So I'm going to first write out the new day. So today is Saturday. Hold on, let me figure out calligraphy. <laughs> Not my best try, but I'm on a bed. Give me a break. And I think I'm just going to rewrite all of these down because I don't have different things to do. Yeah, I think this is all I have to do for today. Overall, I like bullet journaling so far. It wasn't hard writing this stuff down in class. I mean, it took around two minutes of my day. But I know it seems pretty basic right now. I'm going to try to add more interesting things to it as I think of them. But for now, I'm going to organize my house and I will work on my bullet journal the next day. Two hours later. Oh my god, I have been working on my office room all day. But I can finally check this off my list. This, check it off. Also, one of you guys decided to send me some of this stationery, which I think is so cute. And these are some stickers that I've collected a long time ago, but I want to see if I can, you know, add some interestingness to this journal. Interestingness. Really, Frederick? Really? And when you please don't watch this, and for my viewers, why do you watch me? But for now, I think I'm going to do... Uh... Hmm... That one. 
so beautiful. So it's been a long day today. I thought it'd be a good time to just recap on what I did for the weekend. Let's open her up. So Saturday, I could only do one of these. By the way, you're gonna have to deal with this. Oh my God, I'm about to get comments asking me what's wrong. Okay, looking back at this video, I have it playing right over there if you were wondering, so like, I'm going along with it. I'm fine. I'm not trying to have people pity me or like give me attention. I still can't believe I have to clarify this because I know some people out there are going to twist my words or what I do or the fact that even YouTubers can breathe, they'll somehow get up in a scandal. Hi, my name is Frederick Chen. I'm a real human being who goes through some tough times. I go through some negative phases in my life. I've had them before in the past. This is real life for you. Wake up, YouTube, all right? Teenagers are kind of angsty and emotional, especially if you're a Cancer and you're just sensitive like me. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes I go through some shit up in here, but honestly, this journal has helped me, like, realize my own emotions more, and it's also helped me realize that the way I think isn't right, and I should change that. So that's how it helped me. Let's keep going. For now, I'm gonna make a new column for this site because once again, this is the rough draft. I wanna make a column talking about how I'm feeling so I can look back and reflect on it just because I value being in touch with your emotions as a person. Back to my actual thing though. Uh, uh. So I did everything but two things, that's pretty good. These ones don't have a deadline. This one has a deadline that I've already missed, but this one doesn't. So I'm gonna write Monday right here, and then we're gonna get ready for the next day. Now, this time I don't need to look it up because I've already practiced the word Monday many times. Still mad about it, but I'll get over it. Not my best, but keep in mind doing this one-handed. All right, let's wait for tomorrow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Four. Shit, that is a terrible four. I don't know why I wrote it like that. Meh. It's a rough draft. By March 4th, I already got into the routine of crossing things out and writing extra notes for myself during the week. But this MIU student here, right here, is supposed to be smart, but has another stupid moment. Did I just spell Tuesday wrong? Hmm. Mm hmm. Not my best moment, but once again, rough draft. At this point, I didn't really want to film every single day because I thought it would get tedious and boring. But here's a clip of me trying a new calligraphy style for a little bit. However, I stopped doing it by April. Your boy loves going through identity crises. Cri crises. Even with something as insignificant as his own handwriting. This is called the self-reflection cloud where I basically write down my emotions every day. And for March, I decided to only use orange and green because I use that on the cover page. And also, we all know that there are those colors that no one uses in their set of pens, brushes, anything. But my parents taught me better and you gotta get your money's worth so I'm forcing myself to use my two least favorite colors. So I forgot to do anything for Thursday. It is currently 5.13. And there's nothing here. I don't want therapy talk, okay? Not in this household. I'm fine. I'm gonna try to write everything I have to do because I didn't do any of this yesterday. And I want to see if I can decorate this more because it's looking plain. I need to make my dream journal come true. Don't you dare judge me. We all have our moments. Anyways, for day eight, I went to a new page and used a ruler. Yes, I'm extra. What did you expect from a gay person? But I wanted to see if I can make one page without messing up somehow on it. Monday was easy because I actually did everything on my list for once, and then I wrote Tuesday, and you'll notice I struggle hard with S's and Y's when it comes to this style, but you're gonna see that this idiot Frederick messes up again because it's the 12th, not the 11th, you ignorant slut! And then I decided to write my self-reflection for Monday. Anyways, on to the next day. As you can see, I was very angry towards the number 11, so I scratched it out. And also, I forgot to do a self-reflection for the 11th because I was so traumatized by my mistake, so I just did it today. Notice how I change locations every day just because I'm doing this last minute. Also, yes, I know I have Christmas pajamas. I'm sorry, they're way too comfortable. I know it's April. Don't come at me. But today was just an ordinary day. Same routine. I'm gonna be honest with you, I completely forgot to write in my journal for Thursday. You'll notice I started losing motivation by the end of the month just because I, I also stopped writing the date next to each day because I just can't do numbers in calligraphy. I don't know what to thicken, what to be thin, I- and, uh, hi, uh, it's been a while, huh? So like I said, I stopped at day 20 and I didn't look at my journal for a bit just because, you know, 
issues. But I'm better now. Please don't therapy talk me. I already feel it coming in the comments. But my friend bought me these dual sided pens. I have a brush and a fine point tip. So over April, I wanted to try one of Amanda's bullet journals because I fell in love with how she does them. I first outlined in pencil, then pen, and then I added the Taurus and Aries constellations to make the cover because those fall in the month of April. Then in order to save space and make it faster to journal, I added a mood tracker and made a space theme because we did stars on the cover sheet. I wrote down eight moods and then made sure I can mix and match them because your boy goes through many emotions throughout the day. Then instead of writing out the next day at the end of every night, I wanted to plan ahead for one so this is one whole week ready and I just have to add my little notes to it. And I wanted to spice it up by adding the quote shine bright like a diamond. And I should have outlined in pencil first. I don't know why I was so confident because look at how bad it is. I can't write big. I always write small and it just it ruined it and I'm really mad because I just did Rihanna dirty. But yeah, that was me trying to bullet for a whole month straight. But going forward, I'm going to try to be more motivated to do this because it's like, if you can take care of this, you can also learn how to take care of other things, especially yourself. But it was really fun. It's not just a complete waste of time because you get to learn how to improve your handwriting and do calligraphy and draw every day. So I'm going to keep doing this. If you guys want me to like, I don't know, do a recap in a month or so, let me know. But that is all I have for today. Once again, Buy it. And if you enjoyed, give this video a like so I can afford college. <laughs> Leave a comment down below about what you want me to do next. And subscribe for more videos every Saturday slash Sunday. Or Wednesday slash Thursdays. I'm not procrastinating. I want you to hit that notification bell. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. And once again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting me. And helping me get through bad times. And... <laughs> oh, and uh, watch that video.